Addressing safety in schools in St. John's County, the school district, school district agrees to hire an independent contractor to provide armed school security. Yeah, so the contract with U.S. Security Associates, which is based uh, in Georgia, by the way, is for one year. Firearms will be provided by the contractor. The hourly pay for the security officers ranges between $19 and $23. The sheriff's office will continue providing school resource officers. So believe it or not, the school year is right around the corner. Many schools in our area start in about two and a half weeks. With that said, it is time to start thinking about getting in that back to school routine. That includes an earlier bedtime. By the way, Ware County goes back, I think it's August 2nd, so that's next week. News for Jack's reporter Jennifer Reddy is live with what uh, doctors recommend you help kids transition into the new routine and, and good luck doing it. Yeah, absolutely. After staying up and sleeping in during the summer, it can be really hard for kids to break that sleeping schedule when it is time to go back to school. That's why doctors say now is the time for parents to start getting your kids back into that back to school sleep routine so that they are better mentally and physically prepared. Walking along the St. John's River at Memorial Park, the Post family is soaking up the final days of summer. And what's your favorite part about summer? Whenever we do tests, it just like, you know, it stresses me out, but whenever the summer I can relax and stop worrying, and I can play with my friends and do sports and stuff. But soon it will be time to tuck in early and get back into the school routine. What we do is we gradually try to start back a little bit earlier. So um, now we're 9 and we're going to push back to 8.30 and then we're going to gradually be back at 8. Dr. Mary Soha suggests parents adjust their children's sleep schedule at least two weeks before school starts. She says children should be getting 8 to 9 hours of sleep a night to make them more alert, inquisitive, and ready to listen inside the classroom. What can happen is if, if your child starts school and, and, and has a sleep deficit, it's very hard to catch up, and, and they're not going to be able to catch up until the weekends usually. To get back into the routine, Dr. Soha says it's a good idea to get back into a regular eating schedule, implement quiet time at night, and also shut down all electronics at least two hours before going to bed. The rays can interrupt with a child's sleep cycle. That way, students like Rihanna are both physically and mentally ready to tackle a new school year. Dr. Soha really emphasizes the importance of making sure, along with getting kids back in that good sleep routine, you're also making sure they are eating well because during the summer that sometimes can fall by the wayside. Jennifer Reddy, Channel 4, The Local Station.